He lock or he loan? Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Jeff Trevarthan, Jeff the Mortgage Pro here. Thanks so much for watching this video here. Today we are going to jump right into talking about the difference between a HELOC or a HE loan. So right now there's a ton of equity in property all the way across the United States. I think it's the most equity that anybody's ever had in the history of measuring the numbers out there right now. So that means that people can tap into that equity uh, for various reasons, obviously. But one of the more common ways to do that is to get a second mortgage of some sort, whether it be a HELOC or a HE loan. So usually these are used for, uh, like, like I said, tapping into equity. Uh, maybe you want to pay off some debt. Maybe you want to remodel your house. Lots of different reasons why people take out a second mortgage on their house. Maybe they want it for investments, right? So it does, just depends on what you want to do for these. But let me give you the breakdown of the two different options here. The first one, and probably the more common one, uh, at least as of the last several years here, is what's called a home equity line of credit or a HELOC. Home equity line of credit, that's what it stands for. So HELOCs um, are very popular to do. They are variable rates. So here's some of the stipulations of them. They are variable rates, which means that they are subject to the market conditions for the most part. So whenever you hear that the Fed is raising the uh, federal funds rate, it's also called the prime rate, and HELOCs are directly tied to the prime rate. They're usually the prime rate plus, plus or minus a margin that the lender can make on the uh, transaction itself. So when you hear that the Fed is hiking rates like they've done over the last several years here in 2022 and 2023, that means that the cost or the variable interest rate of the home equity line of credit has gone up. However, if the hikes started going in the opposite direction, instead of doing hikes, they're doing cuts to the federal funds rate or the prime rate, that's gonna make those HELOCs go down in interest rate. So a good time to tap into equity is when the Fed is probably done hiking rates and they are gonna start cutting rates. That means that the rate on that HELOC is gonna hopefully go down over time. Okay, so variable rates for HELOCs. Uh, typically, they're an interest-only payment. So most mortgage loans, most first mortgage loans have a principal and interest payment for them. That means you're paying a portion of the principal every, every month as, long, as well as the interest. Well, HELOCs are different. For the most part, you're going to be paying for the first 10 years during the initial draw period when you can take money on and off the line of credit. They typically have an interest-only payment. So that helps keep the payment down. So if you have variable income or you need to pay a little bit less every month, you can pay that interest only payment because that's the minimum payment you have to pay. Um, they're typically 30 year loans, uh, like I said, with a 10 year draw period. So the first 10 years, you can draw money on and off that line of credit as you see fit. You can write checks, you can transfer it to your savings or checking account. You can do it however you want to do it. And then you can put money back the same way. You can write checks to it. You can uh, pay it off by transferring money from savings and checking accounts to pay it off the balance of those things, which is really cool. And then after that 10 year initial draw period, you have 20 years to pay off the remaining balance of that loan. And it'll be a payment, again, a variable rate, depending on whatever the rate of the day is for the market. <clears throat> that's what the rate is that you're going to be paying on that HELOC. Um, they are typically go up to what's called 90% loan to value. Some of them might even go a little bit higher up to 95% loan to value. That means if we take our first mortgage balance and add our second mortgage balance with this HELOC, that has to be a, approximately 90% of the value of the property itself. So we'll need to do an appraisal to determine what the market value is of the property that'll help you determine how much of a HELOC you can get. And typically the HELOCs have loan amounts all the way up to 500,000. You can find them up to a million in some instances. So don't get stuck on that $500,000 number. They can go all the way up as high as you really need them. So most people are gonna need 100, 200, 300,000. Most people don't need to go up to 500,000, but in some instances and in some places in this country, uh, they definitely need to go up to 500,000 for those HELOX, HELOX or home equity lines of credit, okay? So the other type of loan that you can do is a second mortgage is called a HELOAN, a home equity loan is what that stands for. And these are typically fixed rate products. And they're also typically fully uh, full index payments. 
So for example, just like a first mortgage, you pay principal and interest on it. On a HELOC loan, you typically also pay principal and interest on that on that monthly payment. So it could be more expensive to have a HELOC or a HE loan versus a HELOC in a lot of a lot of ways. Um, they typically have uh, periods to pay them off. So you can do five years, 10 years, 15 years, and even 30 years for a he loan uh, amortization. So that's how long you have to pay it off. Usually the longer the period, the higher the interest rate is gonna be. So if you're doing a 30 year versus a five year he loan, the 30 year fixed, uh, the 30 year loan is probably gonna have a higher interest rate than the shorter uh, five year loan is gonna have, okay? Again, these go up to 90% loan to value in a lot of instances. And then the loan amounts, again, can go up to 500,000. So which one is right for you? That's the main question. So you have to determine, uh, you want to always weigh the costs and benefits of each of those different analysis. I'd be happy to show you the difference between the two if you want to compare what a HELOC versus a HE loan looks like. And I'm licensed in a lot of states across the United States and I can help you out just about wherever you're at. So do me a huge favor. If you really like this video, go ahead and click on the like button down below. And uh, I will put in my uh, uh, signature down here below uh, the video description, I'll put my Calendly link so that you can schedule an appointment with me if you want to chat more about doing a HELOC or a HELON and figure out which one is right for you. Thanks so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you on the next show. Have a good day.